All right, quick twist and builds update for you folks. Um, I have built a thing. It is awesome. Um, and it is so far relatively pin vast passing bench tests, if you can't tell by what it might be. Uh, that is a Bosch 4.9 sensor. Um, I had a 14.7, did a, a open source uh, wide band controller. It was a SLC, I guess SLC free. Um, and it is a open source wide band controller that he openly gave out the firmware for and all the schematics to make it work. And I went to town and had my own boards designed. Um, finally got, I got these in, I think it was Thursday. I finally got to working on them today and found out there is one blimp on this board that's wrong. So I only had five of these made because they're prototypes, which is, you know, isn't a big deal. But um, I, the next round I'll have it corrected. There's two, these two leads on the, um, on the MOSFET are backwards. So pin one, which is a square one right there, and then the round one. Somehow in my design, they got switched. So because of that, um, I'm going to use this one for... Uh, pretty much on car testing to make sure it works before I get more boards made up But uh, obviously I won't be releasing these boards directly. It'll be after I get the new ones in So because of that I wanted to test it anyway So I literally jumpered wired to a MOSFET that I have up here Right to the board and had it wired uh, swap those two pins around so I have it wired correctly if you can see It's red brown and black and up there. It's brown red and black. So those two leads are just swapped so, I'll have to swap them on the design, and that won't be a big deal, and uh, get more boards made. But uh, my big thing was uh, figuring out how to uh, flash them. And I finally got everything. You had to, I had to get a special uh, Cypress programmer, and uh, I was able to get the firmware off of 14.7.com's website, and I flashed the thing on the program header, which is right here, and uh, right there and flashed the chip and she'd be working. So this is an amp seal connector. That's something else on the next board revision. I may be changing connectors because this one's not as easy to put together as the Speedino connectors you've seen me do. Um, so because of that, I don't think I'm gonna continue on with these ones. I will probably swap to a different style connector. Um, I may keep them, I'm not sure. I did find out there was another board issue that I had anyway, which I had to actually grind a little bit on the bottom of this board. I don't know if you can see it right there or not. But uh, I actually had to grind that down because I didn't have it correct for this connector. Which it, it literally was just a hair of a grind. I had to just grind in there to make everything fit. Um, that will be corrected on the next boards. If I still stay with this amp seal, I think I may go with a different amp seal connector. Um, just because of ease of... Uh, assembly that one's a little hard to do but um it's a nice connector it's let me get it oh it's also really hard to get off and on i'm not gonna break it so um again i'm not sure if i'll stick with that one it does work if i had two hands but one hand's holding the camera right now so i'm going to sit you guys down or yeah i'll sit you down for a second i'm going to uh or maybe i'll put you right here and I am going to hook up the power to this I want to show you guys the voltmeter as fast as I can so power okay it is if you can tell it's got high amperage because it's warming up the sensor and that's about halfway through the, the reading it's a little low and then it rises up so that's the 0 to 5 volt output for uh, 10 to 20 AFR on these deals so now it's at 20 AFR, and uh, if I take my lighter, I actually killed the lighter testing, but if I take the lighter and put it in front of this, just put a lighter right in front of here, you'll see it. It's not as quick because it's not in an exhaust stream, but it's still just a, for a function of test. You can see how it drops right down, and my meter's going to die. <laughs> Let me turn that back on. <laughs> Of course. All right, back up. C five volts, four nine. I'm gonna do it again. See how it drops. 
it drops a lot. I mean, I'm sure it would drop a lot faster if it was inside an exhaust. You can see how it goes down and comes right back up. That's literally me just doing this. Right in front of the, right in front of the lighter, or sorry, in front of the O2 sensor. Just giving it a, a fuel reading, a lack of oxygen reading. So, that's it. Uh, plan is, is once I get the new boards prototyped and designed, I do plan on starting to build them and sell them. Um, my main thing is there's not a lot of cheap Y-bands out there. 14.7 um, does provide some. And don't get me wrong, they've been great. Um, however, it's just... With my deal, it's how he stocks them. It's, he runs out of stock often. It's hard to get a hold of them. Um, I plan on selling these and uh, providing good customer support with them. So if... Uh, I guess that's it for this update. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please uh, comment away or email me at dale at twistedbuilds.com. And um, thank you for watching. Bye.